Good, good, good. Ball! What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another episode of The Touchdown with Doug Smith, where we interview not only NFL draft prospects, some of the best college football players to touch the gridiron. Ladies and gentlemen, I have an up and coming legend. This guy's out paving his own way out there, doing a lot, a lot of big things. Recently, he transferred from uh, Northern Texas and coming off of a thousand yard season, and he is going to help not only elevate uh, the Kentucky offense this year, man, but we're going to be hearing his name a lot more often. You guys better get used to it. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to take and welcome none other than Jamori Macklin. Jamori, how are you doing today, man? I'm good, man. Appreciate you for having me. Yes, sir. Hey, bless highly favored. So happy to have you on the show, man. And as we were talking before we started recording, you literally got your pads on right now. You're the first player ever to do that on the show. So salute to you, man. First time for everything, ain't it? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Man, uh, you crushed it at North Texas, man. Uh, You have a big season ahead of you, man. Uh, Kentucky is one of those premier college football programs that consistently Mm -hmm. cranks out NFL uh, quality players kind of thing. Uh, Why Kentucky? What led you to want to play for the Wildcats? Uh, them being in the SEC number one, um, and I was really, um, I was really persuaded by the offense. Uh, of course, of course, uh, my officer coordinator left Cohen, who was, uh, who was here. He left a month after me getting here, but, um, you know, I just stayed prayed up, stayed praying to God and, uh, Bush ended up being here and he was my receiver coach back at Mizzou. So, um, I also felt a, a very family feeling from, from coach Stoops and, and just the, the staff. So I, I was like, man, this is, this probably feels like home, you know, and it's five hours away from home. So my family, I got a big family, 14 siblings, so they can all come and watch me whenever. Uh, so that was, that was a big decision for me. Man, that's amazing. That is amazing. And you got, you got uh football in your DNA. Obviously uh, your cousin is Jeremy Macklin. Uh, tell me what that's like, uh, your relationship with him. Oh man, he's like my second dad, man. Like he, he, he takes care of me, uh, take care of me uh, off the field and on the field, uh, gives me a lot of advice, make sure I'm headstrong. And I, re- I really wouldn't be in this position without, without God and without him, you know, he, he kept me together a lot of the times when I thought about quitting football and stuff like that. So, you know, I really uh, appreciate him for everything, man. That's such a blessing, man. Where would we be without the people that uh, God has put in our life, man? Right. Exactly. So that's huge. Exactly. I, I watched one of your, inter- I watched a bunch of your interviews, man. Uh, and one of your interviews, something that really popped out to me, you said that you read the Bible before you yeah. go out on the field, man. Are there yeah. any specific scriptures or favorite parts of the Bible you like to go to that kind of bring you peace? Uh, I just read what I just read whatever God uh, directs me to read. You know what I'm saying? But um, yeah, I, I, I'm very much into my faith. Man, I read the Bible two, three times a day. You know, what I'm saying I pray a lot uh, and, you know, I, I spread the I spread the, uh, the good news of God and I try to bring people closer to Christ. Uh, that's my main goal in life. You know, what I'm saying I don't you know, football is football, but, you know, uh, things like God and my relationship with him is, is the most important thing to me. So uh, just helping people, man, is, is more important to me than football. And, uh, you know, I'm just grateful. Man, praise the Lord. Man. Thank you for sharing that with me, man. I'm a follower of Christ myself. So I saw that. I'm like, oh, I'm going to ask you that question. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Anything we could do to put on the spotlight for the king, for sure. Okay. Um, who are some players that, man, you perhaps maybe model your game after on the NFL level? Question. Um, I'll probably say the number one guy is probably Amari, Amari Cooper. It's probably my number one guy. A lot of guys, a lot of people don't really look at Amari and don't give him the praise that he deserves. But uh, I'm, I'm, I'm technically people, uh, you know, see me as a route runner, and I learn a lot from Amari, um, Keenan Allen, and a bunch of those guys. But Amari Cooper is kind of who I focus on a lot. You know, man, that, that's what I kind of try to model my game after. I love it, man. Now, obviously, uh, you were you were playing for North Texas last year. Now you're in Kentucky. Um, very familiar with the program. Had the blessing and privilege of interviewing uh, Kenneth Horsey last year, starting offensive lineman. Um, what is it that you like about this offense that you feel is going to help make your skills pop a bit more? And I like our explosiveness and, and having two guys outside of me that are really good, Barry on Brown and uh, Dan Key. You know, I feel like those guys can take some attention off of me, you know, and I can take some attention off of them. So I feel like that type of being that type of offense with these type of guys that we have and uh, a great offensive mind like Coach uh, Hamden. Uh, I'm, I'm just excited, man. He's put me in a position to walk and run some routes, you know, being outside inside. And, uh, you know, I'm just excited to show my versatility because I uh, I never really did that as much as North Texas. I was most, mostly outside and really just a deep threat. Uh, but now in this system, I'm a little different. You know what I'm saying? So I like that I can show NFL scouts that I can play outside and inside. You know what I'm saying? I can win one-on-ones in any position. I can move around. I can run any route. Um, and I can, you know, showcase the speed. So, you know, that's, that's, that's what I like about it. I love it, man. Love it. Uh, now you, y'all have a tough schedule, man. It is tough, but you guys are also a tough team as well too. Yeah. loaded. I mean, loaded with talent. I've followed mm-hmm. you got your program for many years. Um, mm-hmm. are there any games that stick out above the rest that you're really looking forward to this upcoming year? Georgia, of course, 
that I always want to play the best. Like that's 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 me and that's my mindset. Whatever team I'm ready to play, whatever game. But that's Georgia for sure. Ready to go against you know that their their top notch program and they got a good defense, good DB. So that's that's a game where I'm most excited to to play against. You know, I want to play against the best. I love it. I love it. Uh, and then obviously, you know, you've been playing college football for a few years. Start off in Missouri, mm -hmm. North Texas for two years, and then now mm -hmm. you're in Kentucky. Uh, what advice would you have for other young players on the year? Maybe they're a redshirt freshman. Uh, mm -hmm. They haven't even seen the field yet. Uh, what, what kind of big brother advice would you have for them? Well, my, my advice to them is to just stay down and keep your head down, man, and just focus on on you, your path. Uh, I Early in my career, I kind of used to look at everybody else and feel like, okay, I'm better than this guy. I'm better than that guy. Why I'm not playing? Why am I not doing this? You know what I'm saying? And it just started to, to get to me, you know, but once my cousin Jeremy harped this on us to stay in my lane and, and, and to focus only on me and don't look to left and right, you know what I'm saying? That, keep your head down, you know, and, and whatever God got planned for you is, is what he got planned for you. And it all come to pass at some point. So. Amen. Amen, brother. Mm -hmm. And then last question of the day, man, what would be the perfect season for you, man? Like what are some of your, uh, your personal goals and then also team goals for the whole team? Theme goal, we want to win a championship. You know what I'm saying? That's 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 nothing short of that. You know, we want to win a championship. That's 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 my mindset is to come here and help these guys win a championship. Uh personal goals, I don't really ever make personal goals for myself, man. I just always say I want what God whatever want for me and whatever he has for me. And that's I'm I'll be accepting of that and I love that regardless. Cause I'm a very grateful guy, just humble. I don't need a thousand yards, two thousand yards to feel like, you know what I'm saying, that I'm I'm big time. I'll take whatever. Uh, Cause I know the opportunity when a uh, NFL coaches turn on the film, they'll see what I have. So it's not all about 17 touchdowns or thousand yards. A lot of people look at that. Uh, and of course it's a good thing to want that, you know what I'm saying? But you know, I want whatever that comes to me, you know, if Brock throws me the ball 10 times a game, I'm happy with it. If he throws it to me two times a game, I'll be happy with it. As long as we're winning, as long as I'm helping the team and uh it, but I am a guy where it's like, okay, if I'm open and I'm not getting it, I'm going to go to Brock and say, hey, Brock, I'm open, you know, but yeah, you feel me? I'm, I'm, I'm one of those guys, but I'm not like a big dramatic guy. I'm not going to make it a big deal, but I will go to Brock and be like, yo, like next time we run that, like, look at me, you know, I'm one of those guys. So. Yeah, absolutely. Hey, man, I was I-95, man. I was practically wide open, you know, so. You feel me? Exactly. <laughs> I, I'm, always, I'm always open. That's one thing about me. I, I tell my quarterback and uh, a lot of the DBs, like my mentality, man, when it's one-on-one, -on -one, is to get open and 95% of the time I'm gonna be open. Like that's that's my mentality. I'm always trying to get open and, and win those one-on-one -on -one matchups. Man, I love it. I love it. Well, Jamori, thank you so much for coming on the show. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, follow his story in the description of this video. I'm have all social media stuff down below. Uh, it's not only a man of faith, this guy is one of the hardest workers in all of college football. He's a blue collar type player, man. Not only NFL teams are gonna love that, Kentucky's gonna love that. And you heard it here first, man, trying to get the chip this year, man. Nothing's gonna get in your way. Thanks. Jamar, yes, sir, have a day. Thank you so much for coming on the yes, show. Sir. You guys comment below. Yeah, thanks, boss. Thank you for watching another episode of The Touchdown with Doug Smith, where we have exclusive NFL content and exclusive NFL interviews. Be sure to hit that like and that subscribe button. Follow us on social media. See you on the next one.